Today's video has been sponsored by Konosuba Fantastic Days. Imagine you, a brave traveler, have been summoned to a world threatened by the Devil King's army in the first Konosuba mobile game ever to be released globally. The journey may be long, but do not fear. You won't be going empty-handed. You will join your party of all Konosuba characters you know and love from the anime, along with some fresh new faces. Embark on your adventure and rescue the realm from the forces of evil. Although when it comes to Aqua, you may have to do most of the rescuing yourself. Enter a journey into another world where the newly reincarnated Kazuma is on its quest to live a carefree life, but soon he will be tricked to save the realm from the Devil King. Relive your favorite slapstick moments from the Konosuba series with scenes rendered in exquisite live 2D animations. There are a ton of new characters exclusive to Konosuba Fantastic Days for you to collect and customize. The main story follows a new idol group called Axel Hearts. But the coolest part is that if you're already familiar with the Konosuba anime, the original voice acting cast has returned to voice Konosuba Fantastic Days. Alright, any Megumin stand to the chat? Pause champ? Oh? This is the greatest game I've ever played. I have never played a better game in my entire life. This is my game of the year. My game of my life. Even characters from the light novel who didn't appear in the anime have their own voices now. Be sure to check out Konosuba Fantastic Days in the description box below as fantastic days await you. Now let's get back to the video. Hey, what up guys? It's Peter Park TV and welcome back to another YouTube video featuring me and my anus. If chat, if you start recommending any fucking um, solo leveling esque isekai or like uh, RPG, like leveling up in real life at, in an RPG setting fantasy bullshit, I will fucking ban you. Okay. First of all, me and Scar have actually read every single one of them. Okay. And also, we didn't even need to read every single one of them because since we read one of them, we've read all of them. Okay. Have you checked a breakthrough brought by Forbidden Master and Disciple? That just sounds like porn. So I'll check it out. Hey, Peter, I'm about to go to uni college. I think Americans call it. Got any tips? Uh, use protection. Go to discussion. Talk to your TAs. Check your syllabus, whether your lectures have all the lectures like uploaded online. That way you don't actually have to go to class. You can just watch the lectures wherever you want. I realized that way too late. Like if your lecture does not take attendance and they upload the lectures online, you do not need to go to lecture. If you really want to get ahead in a class, you go to discussion and you talk to your TAs. You go to office hours. You get a lot of good insight on, into your class and like what the what the exams are like if you if you fucking go. Attendance was 15% of my grade in college. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Like if you if they don't take attendance, but a lot of a lot of classes do. I a lot of my art classes were like if you miss three classes, it was an automatic fail for the course. Are you serious? If we didn't work together, would you sleep with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> it is getting warm. Wait, so why did yeah. why didn't he answer the question? Is this video spicier than I thought it was gonna be? Probably not. Well, that's rude. No, because I'm not gay. No, because I have a wonderful wife. He has a wonderful wife. I don't know why I'm drinking. <laughs> but he stripped already. He already stripped. Definitely gonna have to pop this off. <laughs> that is quite a fucking that's question to ask first. Have what you the fuck? ever lied? to get out of work. I lie to get out of work all the time. At everyone ping. Hey guys, not feeling so well today. I'm gonna postpone stream till tomorrow. You know what I was really doing? I was just watching fucking eight seasons of MasterChef on Danny's stream while eating pizza, okay? Yeah, maybe I wasn't feeling so well because I was eating like 4,000 calories worth of pizza, okay? <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun. On the count of three, name your least favorite coworker. Hold on. Oh my god. Do you know who yours is? Yep. Oh my gosh. If you name your least favorite employee as a boss, doesn't that kind of create a hostile work environment? Isn't this like an HR issue that they're creating? Will we bleep out the names? Can we bleep out the names? <sighs> they're not gonna okay, bleep out the names. Okay. They're not gonna bleep One, out the names. Two, three. <laughs> oh, they actually bleeped out the fucking names. Ah, I knew you were gonna say that, and I intentionally didn't say anything because <laughs> everyone's my favorite. One, two, three. <laughs> Damon! Who's your person? <laughs> oh, I take my answer back. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot about. <laughs> how do you forget about? Because <laughs> he has to remind you every fucking five minutes that he exists. And Joe. All right, who's my least favorite coworker? Three, two, one, Winry. I mean, oh, I love all my coworkers. <clears throat> Name your 
Name the coworker you'd most like to sleep with. Remember guys, you can take shots in order to not fucking answer these questions. Um, you answer first. Oh, I was just gonna answer with a shot. <laughs> I'll take a shot too. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ryan Reynolds. <clears throat> Ever have sex at a place of business? Okay. Look like you're gonna drink that. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex at our place of business? Oh God, no. With like. I don't know. Have you ever had sex at our office? I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> fill it out. Yep, fill it out. Have I? When are you gonna give me a raise? When are you gonna give me a motherfucking raise? I'm not in charge of that. When are you gonna tell them to give me a motherfucking oh, raise? Oh, I tell everyone should get raised. <laughs> this is why I'm not in charge of it. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, when am I gonna get a raise, huh? Primers, please. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give when are mods getting a raise? All right, let's move on to the next video, y'all. Yeah? Oh, can we guess who's single? All right, let's do it, chat. Chat, I wanna know if you guys have a single dar. Amanda. Amanda. Dating, dating, dating. I've never seen a blue-haired single girl, like blue-haired single girl before in my entire life. N never once, okay? What's your date spot? My house with a movie. Oh, she's, dude, she's been in a relationship for like three years. Are you in a relationship? No. Fuck! You said at home with a movie, I was like, oh, relationship. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That was the one where I was like, oh yeah, you're just bored now. Like you're like, you're you're comfortable. You don't want to go on like date dates. You just want to stay at home and watch movies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, oh, ah, oh, 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 fuck. So don't cancel my ass. But I think she's in a relationship. I think that the cut people put her in here because she's clearly, you know, she's wheelchair bound and like, your, I think normal people's perceptions of people like with disabilities are like it's more difficult for them to be in relationships, you know, what I, you, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that they aren't in relationships. So my guess, just based off seeing her for three seconds, is that she's in a relationship because I think this is a bait by the cut producers. How would you give out your number to me if if we just like met? I wouldn't. You're not my type. Damn! Okay, dude, he was he was asking a hypothetical. Come on. Okay, honestly, that was kind of rude of her. In my opinion, that's kind of rude. He was just like saying like, in a hypothetical scenario, if you were to ask me out, what well, how would you do it? Like, why did she have to shut his ass down? It's fucked up. <laughs> All right. That's okay. You're in a relationship. I think you're single. I think you're single too. Well, I'm married. I actually been married. Let's fucking go! In a relationship, boom, dude. This guy fucking found his wife at the local F and M. Okay, he was swayed by the way she dropped that fucking mono white deck in a in standard when it wasn't meta. This guy's married as fuck, dude. This guy fucks. All right. What's the last book, dude? You read? No one wears this outfit. Like this guy is wearing this outfit with such confidence. This dude fucks for sure. I mostly read My Little Pony fan fiction. Okay, that only cements my position that this guy fucks. Everyone knows that the MLP, MLP fandom is the most, like, incestuous, sex-driven fandoms ever. This dude for sure fucks. You may not approve in the way in which he fucks, but this dude for sure fucks, oh, okay? Oh, that's real nice. He probably met the love of his life Hope at a know. fucking MLP, like, custom, like, I don't know, like, horse pussy booth or some shit, and then they married the next day, okay? Like, you are disgusted by it, but it's true, all right? I have a boyfriend uh, in the Chicago suburbs and a girlfriend 40 miles outside of Denver. I told you guys this dude fucks! This dude fucks more than anyone else here. Me or any of you in chat. Literally, this dude is non-stop fucking. Bust. All he does is Happy fuck. I told Pizza you guys. You I'm thinking about relaxing, making myself a drink, turn on TV. Virgin. The editors are fucking with you, chat, okay? Because it's within the context of a motherfucking cut video, this dude's single as hell. How do you feel about monogamy? It's good. You know? It's good. Each his own. Do you like having sex? Who doesn't? Sex, sex is, yeah, it's pretty good. Do you see the way he answered that question? This man might be asexual. You're for sure single. I am not. Damn it. Fuck! I've never met a single person who can't name at least one spot that they frequent. Every guy has at least a couple spots where they're like, okay, for this type of date, I would like to. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> uh, DoorDash. Uber Eats, Postmates, 
when I'm feeling kind of responsible, I do a uh, Instacart. Single Christian woman waiting for the perfect God-given boyfriend. Oh, that's okay. real you nice. was raised in the church. You hope so. But had one lesbian, uh, like, encounter in college and is now confused about it. Nice. Sorry, I'm just- I, sorry, she just reminds me of someone I know that went through that in college, so that I'm just projecting here from- based off my own specific experiences. Recently yeah. divorced? You know, I would usually tell you, nah, she looks too young to be divorced, but now as someone who's in my 30s, um, and having known people back from, like, high school and college that are now, like, divorced, or several times divorced, actually, in some people's cases, uh, you're right. She could very well be divorced. I think you're single, yes. Yeah, you guessed right. <laughs> Do you like to go out? Okay, chat's thinking like, please be single. Please. Prega, please. Please. Just for my benefit, please. Please. I love to go out. And what do you normally drink? Four Locos. Four Locos? <laughs> yeah. I think this is a bait. I think she might be in a relationship and she just has a party boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? I think this is a bait and that she is dating someone. Uh, yeah, no, I'm... I got, no. I, I think I... she fucks one guy or like, yeah, I think she probably fucks one person a lot. I, we've, I've... Pretty girls are always single, I would know. F's for all the fucking Taken girls in chat, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Candy! You kinda just fucking roasted like a fuck ton of- Wait, there's probably no Taken girls in my chat right now. Like, I fucking- I do it! We're done! Wait, why are you doing this? Rave bae! Rave bae! Rave bae! Let's fucking go!